Welcome to the McKinsey Pass, possibly the most beautiful ride in Oregon. After noodling through town for about a half mile, you'll soon find yourself on Highway 242, the real beginning of the ride. The first six miles from Sisters is a very gentle 400 foot climb with about one to one and a half percent grade. At this point, you'll hardly know you're climbing. At about mile six, the road pitches up just a bit for the next three miles until the East Snow Gate as you climb the outer flanks of Four Mile Butte and Little Butte to your right. It's not super steep though, about 3% grade until just before the snow gate where it jumps to about 5% for a short while. From the East Snow Gate, you have about six and a quarter miles to the summit at D. Wright Observatory. On the way, you'll climb close to 1,300 feet. It's not super steep though, averaging about 5 to 7% grade. There are some nice respites, however, with some easy transitions of about 1 to 2 percent. On the way, you'll pass Windy Point about mile 11, just over 3 miles from the snow gate. Here, you'll be face to face with Belknap Crater and amazing views of Mount Jefferson and Mount Washington. From Windy Point, it's just a little more than 3 miles and 500 feet of climbing to the D. Wright Observatory. The last three miles is a mix of flats and five to six percent ramps, with even one or two short descents thrown in. The approach to D. Wright Observatory can be quite dramatic, especially at the early part of the year, when you can ride between towering snowdrifts. Snowdrifts or not, the view from D. Wright is absolutely amazing and well worth the climb. At this point, you can turn around and head back to Sisters, making this a fairly manageable 28-mile ride. In our case, we're pressing on to the West Snow Gate. For the first seven and a half miles after the observatory, it's a very gentle overall descent of about one to three percent, with a few steeper sections and some uphill rollers thrown in. In fact, you'll only lose about 700 of the total 1,800 feet of descending. But at about 22 and a half of the ride, about four miles left to the west snow gate, you'll get to enjoy the last 1,100 feet of descent as the grade steepens sharply, and you have constant switchies with six to nine percent drops. Be aware that you may not be able to bomb down this section, however, because there may be debris and fine gravel and dust on the turns. Absolutely proceed with caution here. Finally, the West Snow Gate, where we learn that what comes down must go back up. The approach to the observatory from the west side has much steeper ramps than from the east side. Remember that great switchbacky four mile descent? It's now a climb. 1100 feet in the first four miles and then a more gradual 700 feet back up to the D. Wright Observatory. Once you're back up to the lava fields, where the road flattens a bit, you'll have some great views of Belknap Crater and the Three Sisters to the right. Once again on the summit, it's a great 1800 foot 14 and a half mile slide and glide back to Sisters. The steepest part of the descent will be from Windy Point for about three miles back to the East Snow Gate. After that, it's a gradually decreasing descent all the way back to town. So I choose to depart for a To the mantra, but now I'm tied to 
a kink in our ride today was the fact we got caught in a controlled burn, something that doesn't happen very often. Even a controlled burn creates some pretty nasty conditions. So hats off to the firefighters for the work that they do. After climbing today, it's really nice to end on that sweet false flat as you head into town. And just a few turns, and we're at Village Green City Park, the beginning and the end of our ride. Thanks for watching.